Hi, I'm Mick Ressler from Cathedral High School, Indianapolis, Indiana, and today I'm going to demonstrate a little bit and talk about some of the key components of a kick slide. This is mainly for a split-in offensive tackle who's trying to uh, get back and cover a speed upfield rusher. Um, the first thing probably is, is really important is you've got to know that you've got a guy, uh, every, every particular lineman is going to be better going right than he is left or going left than he is right. I think it's up to the coaches to talk to the kids and make sure that, you know, hey, they feel quicker. You can even time them just going back five yards and making sure that, you know, their right is a little bit better than their left. I think it all comes into the stance. That it's kind of like we're loading up. My weight right now, I feel like I have about 60% of my weight on the inside part of my foot. My knee is on the inside part of my foot. It's not outside, okay? I can pick up my outside foot without shifting my weight a whole bunch, okay? Um, I think the most common thing that I see done wrong is kids will try to pick up this leg and, and move it back. It's really a push off of your anchor leg. I am going to kind of do like a jolt. I'm going to do like a kick, but I'm pushing back. This foot never leaves the ground, and that's for stability and being able to redirect. Anytime that you're going to be off the ground with both feet and get jammed, you're going to be on your back quicker than, than anything. So we want to load it up almost like a spring. A good drill would be to over exaggerate the bends in the knees and the hips and then I'm going to kick my leg back on a 45. Notice that my stance, <coughs> my toes make this line and when I kick I'm still on that line. Again, six inch steps, four inch steps would probably be even better. But I'm going to load it up and I'm going to accelerate. I do use my elbows to get out of my stance a little bit. To, to bring me out of my stance, but it's this kick here, and it's a violent kick so that everything can move out of my stance. And what you want to be able to do is get guys to go as fast as you can three times to get to that contact point. After that contact point, again, I'm hoping that they're somewhat square, and then I'm staying with them, and I should be able to pass the guy past the, the quarterback, making the quarterback be able to step up into the pocket. Um, some common things that I see wrong, guys will tend to be sitting back too much and they're, they're just going to move their outside foot here. You've got to watch their hips. The whole time that they do this, you need to make sure that their hips are parallel to the line of scrimmage. Um, but, you know, I take for granted that my punch is very, it's much faster than a high school kid and, and I, you know, obviously I'm, I'm older, but um, it's that acceleration that you need to have in your legs that you have in your punch. And we just notice a lot of times in our punch drills and our kick drills, everything's so slow. And I don't know if it's a way of thinking that they need to transform into a faster, explosive thing, or maybe our, our workouts need to be a little bit more uh, uh, directed or focused on our explosion. But I just feel like anything that a kid can do to be light on their feet and have an explosion where it's quick, concise movement to still be in a good position is really the key to a good kick slide. Um, we do drills where we'll have four cones out here. We'll have them kick slide back to this cone and then power step back to the middle. And then we'll point to the back cone. They have to switch their legs and then they're kicking slide the other way. We'll have them power slide down, kick slide back, power slide over, punch up, kick slide over, or power step over. Um, just as many footwork drills you can possibly do. I think another great drill is with bags where you're having the kids zigzag through them, but they're working on picking that foot up and putting it in the ground and getting to that feeling of I am jamming my foot into the ground to uh, gain leverage and to, to have it anchored down because again, if you leave your body weight on the inside part of your foot and you get attacked out here, it's going to cape. The other thing I think is very important is when they do kick slide, they should be on the inside part of their feet. Uh, their knees should be way down in here. It's a very awkward looking position, but the reason why they teach that is because this leg out here is more of a diversion. This, this defender is not going to want to run all the way around it. It's just like me having my hand way out here. So by having it way in here, of course I'm off balance, but having it way out wide, that's helping me 
a lot like a guy on field goal stepping down and keeping his leg on the outside. But everything's got to be compact, and I think that's something that we probably should work on more of is their inner thigh strength because I can feel bringing everything down inside here so everything's compact. And the reason why I want it to be compact is so you can explode when the time is right. Um, you know, again, film the guys over and over and over again on air, on a bag, on a man. And as soon as you throw that live, live action in there, that's when they forget everything. And that's the best time that you can teach and really slow it down. And I think them seeing it on film is the best teacher that, that, you, that we can have at, at a short amount of time. Uh, but besides that, you know, again, try to keep your, I know a lot of line coaches will switch sides. I think it's better to leave a kid on one particular side. Uh, obviously, we don't always can have ex two great outside tackles, but we try to put our best athlete uh, to the left side like a lot of guys do. But it's a guy, a big guy who can move really well on his feet, and he understands that he's not going to get beat inside. Um, for some reason, some kids just don't understand the significance of, uh, you know, that is sacred ground, that they are not, not to give up at all. And, and again, just rep the crap out of it. You cannot do enough. Thanks a lot.